Rikesh Foundation, an independent, non-profit, non-religious, space-based organization founded by nuclear engineer Mehran Tavakoli Kesh, is introducing to humanity the science of the universe, plasma science. Kesh Foundation develops universal knowledge in space technologies that provide solutions to major global problems, revolutionizing agriculture, health, energy, transportation materials, and more. The application of plasma science in the form of specially developed plasma reactors and other devices will give humanity the real freedom to travel in deep space. Plasma science exists throughout the whole universe. It is here and it belongs to you. Our knowledge, research, and development regarding the plasma structure has progressed to the point of enabling everyone to participate in the process. Become a creator and understand the work of the universe for the good of humankind on this planet as well as in space. The use of MEGRAVs, nanomaterials, GANs, liquid plasma, field plasma, and other plasma technologies have come as a new dawn for humanity to progress and work in harmony with the universe. Conventional technology applications are wasteful, damaging, and cause pollution to the planet and all living beings. Plasma science provides solutions and improves existing methods and use of resources in all aspects that touch the lives of all beings. Plasma is defined by the foundation as an entire content of fields which accumulate and create matter and is not defined by its physical characteristics like ionization or temperature. Also, with plasma science, we understand how we can convert matter back to the fields. Quoting from Mr. Cash, MEGRAV stands for Magnetic Gravitational, which means plasma absorbs or gives. And every plasma has the both. It has give and it has take. And when they can't find the balance, they distance themselves until they find the balance they can give to the others. That they can receive what they want to receive and give further. Certain atoms and molecules release and absorb magnetic or gravitational fields. Released fields are available to be absorbed by other objects. The Keshe Foundation has developed a way to gather these free-flowing fields from the environment within a resourceful and beneficial new state of transitional matter, which M.T. Keshe named GANs. The first step of the process of the formation of various basic types of GANs is nanocoating metals. This is carried out either chemically by etching, steam coating with sodium hydroxide, or thermally by heating, fire coating by gas burner. During either coating process, gaps between outermost layers of atoms are created. The residual coating is often referred to as nano coating, defined by the structured layers of nanomaterial, which build up during the creation process of the coating. Nano coated metal in interaction with other various metal plates in a saltwater solution creates MEGRAV fields. These fields then attract available elements to form a specific GANS, which collects and settles at the bottom of the container. This GANS is formed from independent energized molecules like little suns that can be used in various applications.
Welcome everyone to the 185th Knowledge Seekers Workshop for Thursday, August 17th, 2017. This is a production of the Cash Foundation Spaceship Institute. And as always in the last 184 Knowledge Seekers Workshops, we'll be with Mr. Kesh of the Cash Foundation. Uh, Mr. Kesh, are you ready to begin today's workshop? Yes, good morning, good day to you, as usual, whenever, wherever you listen to these series of Knowledge Seekers. As usual, we try to bring the knowledge a step further as part of the Spaceship Program and as part of the One Nation, One Planet. As you are aware, the Earth Council, the Universal Council and the core team are busy in the background to set up what we call the Charter for One Nation, One Planet, One Race. This will take some time, start working on it, and we try to hear from them every week, what is the position, what is their wishes, and as part of the being Keshe Foundation Spaceship Institute, we gave birth to this organization. So we are responsible, all of us as part of the Keshe Foundation worldwide, to see this newborn peace, unified organization to take foot, to start developing, to start seeing what we can do through the knowledge we have to support it, to expand this planet and through it allow us to open into space in a peaceful manner. We try to give uh, space to the Universal Council and the Earth Council if they have anything to announce or what they see every week and if they are present and they wish to have a mm, representation or discuss anything, they have the priority and then we carry on with the teachings and the rest of our usual program. Is there anything from any members of the Earth Council, Universal Council, who would like to discuss or bring to our attention this morning? Is any of the members or anybody been appointed to bring any knowledge to us of your mm, work? that we can know what are the wishes of the, any of the Councils. Hello, this is Marshfik speaking. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, can you hear me well enough? Yes, please go ahead. Uh, so, uh, I would like to bring up... Uh, Could uh, you please introduce yourself, who you are and from which Council? I am... <coughs> Uh, Mosfik, Mosfik Rashid, and I am from the Universal Council. I represent Bengali language, uh, which is spoken mostly in the Indian subcontinent. So, um, ahead, as Mr. Kesh was saying, that we are working on the charter and the roadmap for time to come. And in this area, we are wishing how we would see the world to be in the coming days. The reason I'm speaking is that to give you a hint of where we are heading and, and join us together with your own wish and through your own field introduce it to the community of people by talking, by your own field, remotely, however it may be, so that people become aware of where we are going and how they can join together and help, us, help, all, help all of us to achieve this. Of course, uh, it will take time to propagate, but it may happen very quickly as the field grow rapidly as we all join together. Now, uh, we of course signed the peace treaty recently, and one of the item of obviously is peace. And peace is a big word, and in a way we have to uh, look at more details to it, add more details to it, like how do we disarm? our military and reposition them in a constructive manner. 
similar to those who are abusing others, other human beings. And it's um, very prominent in the part of the world I am. Uh, you can see it all, all around. And how we can do to elevate both the abusers and those who are being abused and suffered over all, all these time. So I think here everybody's wish come together and count to make this happen. And this is a prerequisite to everything else we do. We have to have peace. And it is absolutely important that we achieve it. Now, in addition to peace, of course, and uh, we have to have the meet and basic needs of people. Yes, yes, we have the technology, but we have to create the means of propagating this technology to the people who are in need. And this will t take everybody's cooperation, wishing cooperation, and those who don't know, by having the wish available, will propagate the idea across people everywhere because there are many good people. I, we see, it, see them all the time. They may not know about us, but they will be ready to accept this new opportunity. So the basic needs of having enough to eat at the beginning and a place to stay, there are many people that do not have a place to stay. And and medical care and so that they, they are at peace within themselves. And once we achieve that, uh, we go to a period where uh, people have not only enough of the, what they need, but they can enjoy their life traveling, um, uh, doing doing beneficial things to others, other human beings, other beings on this planet, and the planet itself. So, which brings us to the point point of helping the planet, which has seen its time of uh, abuse in its own way. So, we try to we wish to correct that. And we have the means, technical and otherwise, good intention and so forth. So once we kind of lay down these basic things, yes, obviously we have to go into a little bit uh, more in detail into what are the local wishes will be in, at the local level and actual implementation. But this is peace and basic good conduct. And that conduct is the beginning of what we are calling universal conduct so that we can conduct properly, not only amongst ourselves, but amongst others we are, who, who are, whom we, with whom we are going to meet very soon. And the space opens up, but my wish is that everybody participate in this wish of making this journey from peace to space. Thank you. Um, is it all right if I say this in Bengali? Yes, please go ahead. As a member of Universal Council, is your privilege. So this won't be a literal translation, but I will go ahead anyway. Uh, Amra, uh, Amra Universal Council Hishabe, chinta kori ebong asha kori je Amra shanti kan. Kaim Kurbo, Ewong Ishanti, Rutish Tarpiche on a Gulo Porjas, Akon, a Porjagulamra Astas the Bastaway to Kurbo, Ewong 
যারা আমার এই কথা শুনছে তারা তারা তাদেরও ইচ্ছা আছে যে কিভাবে এই শান্তি বাস্তব বাস্তবায়িত হবে তারাও এটা করতে পারে করলে কি হবে করলে তাদের ইচ্ছা তারা হচ্ছে তাদের বন্ধুদেরকে বলতে পারে তারা তাদের ম্যাগনেটিক ফিল্ড এর মাধ্যমে অন্যদের জানাতে পারে এখন এই জানানো দেখার মাধ্যমে হতে পারে হতে পারে দেখা ছাড়াও হতে পারে এবং যখন আমরা এইভাবে লোকজনকে জানাই যারা হয়তো আমাদের কথা এখনো জানে না এবং অনেকেই জানে না কিন্তু তারাও প্রস্তুত হবে যে কিছু একটা হোক ঘটতে যাচ্ছে হয়তো তারা বুঝবে মনে মনে হবে মনে মনে করতে পারে যে নিশ্চয় কিছু একটা হচ্ছে আমার আমি যে ভালো চাই সকলের সেটা হবে এবং এবং এই এই যে প্রযুক্তি এটা তারা শীঘ্রই তাদের ইচ্ছার কারণেই তাদের হাতে আসবে এবং তারা তারা এটা প্রয়োগ করতে পারবে এবং লোকজন লোকজনের উপকার করতে পারবে এখন এই প্রযুক্তি বাস্তবায়িত করার জন্য অথবা এই শান্তি বাস্তবায়িত করার জন্য আমাদের কিছু পদক্ষেপ নিতে হবে এখন পদক্ষেপ গুলো কি প্রথম হচ্ছে শান্তি শান্তির জন্য আমাদের কি দরকার পৃথিবীর লোকজন যাতে তাদের হাতে কোনো অস্ত্র না থাকে এবং অন্যদের ক্ষতি না করতে পারে এটা আমরা আমাদের দরকার এবং লোকজন পাচার বাচ্চা পাচার বিভিন্ন এবং বাচ্চাদের যে অত্যাচার করা হয় মানুষদের যেভাবে যে অত্যাচার করা হয় এবং যারা করে এদেরকে আমাদের তাদের আত্মার উন্নতি সাধন করা দরকার এবং যারা এই এই অত্যাচারের মাধ্যমে ক্ষতিগ্রস্ত হয়েছে তাদেরও আমাদের আহ শুভকামনা করা দরকার এগুলো শুধু এক জায়গার লোক করলে হবে না তো সকলেরই করতে হবে এবং ফলে সব জায়গারই উন্নতি হবে ফলে যাতে এই এই ব্যাপারটা যেটা সারা পৃথিবী সব জায়গায় হচ্ছে সেটা যাতে আর না হতে পারে এবং এই শান্তির শান্তি যতদিন না আসবে তা শান্তি যত সাথে শান্তি তো আসতেই হবে এর সাথে আমাদের অন্যান্য জিনিসও করতে হবে যেমন আমাদের চাহিদা আমাদের সাধারণ চাহিদা যেগুলো আছে যেমন খাওয়া স্বাস্থ্য ভালো রাখা কোন থাকার ব্যবস্থায় ইত্যাদি ইত্যাদি এগুলো এগুলো দরকার এবং আমাদের যথেষ্ট প্রযুক্তি আছে এর জন্য এটা বাস্তবায়িত করার জন্য এবং এটা আস্তে আস্তে আমাদের যারা এই সম্বন্ধে জানে না তাদেরকেও জানাতে হবে তাদের মাধ্যমে তারা এগুলো করবে আমরা 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 কেশ ফাউন্ডেশনের সাথে যারা জড়িত তারা তো করবেই কিন্তু সাধারণ লোক যারা আসলেই সকলে শুভকামনা করে এমন এরকম অনেক আছে তারা এই এই কাজটা করতে পারে তো এছাড়া যখন আমরা আমাদের সাধারণ চাহিদা পূরণ করা হয়ে যাবে তখন আমরা আরো আমাদের অনেক অনেক ইচ্ছা আছে যেমন বিভিন্ন জায়গায় যাওয়া বিভিন্ন জনের সাথে দেখা করা বিভিন্ন দেশের লোকের সাথে বিভিন্ন ধরনের মানুষের সাথে মোলাকাত করা এগুলো আস্তে আস্তে হবে এবং এই এই শেখা এগুলোর জন্য কিছু কিছু জিনিস শেখাতে হবে এবং আমরা আমাদের জন্য সে সেই ব্যাপারেও তৎপর হতে হবে এবং আমরা আমাদের ইচ্ছা থাকতে হবে যে এই 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 প্রযুক্তি এবং এই যে আমাদের করার ক্ষমতা আছে তৈরি করার ক্ষমতা আছে এটা যেন সকলে জানতে পারি তা এইভাবে আমরা প্রস্তুত হব প্রস্তুত হব এবং ক্রমেই আমরা এমন একটা পর্যায়ে যাব যেখানে আমরা শুধু মানুষেরই ভালো করতেছি না যারা হচ্ছে আমাদের অন্যান্য প্রাণী যারা পৃথিবীতে বাস করে তাদেরও করতে পারি এবং এবং যাদের সাথে আমাদের দেখা হয় নাই পৃথিবীতে অথবা পৃথিবীর বাইরে তাদের সাথে আমাদের দেখা হবে এবং শান্তি এবং আমরা আমাদের যে প্রযুক্তি ব্যবহার সেগুলো সবই এই আমাদের আমাদের ব্যবহারের উন্নতি সাধনের জন্য এই প্রকৃতপক্ষে এবং ক্রমেই আমরা এমন ভাবে আমাদের ব্যবহার হবে যাতে আমরা শুধু পৃথিবীতেই ভালো ব্যবহার করব না আমরা আস্তে আস্তে পৃথিবীর বাইরের লোকজনদের সাথে করব এবং ক্রমেই আমি আমরা তাদের সাথে ভালো করে যোগাযোগ করতে পারবো এবং শান্তির প্রকৃত প্রকাশ তখন হবে uh dhanyabad uh, that's all i have to say thank you very much
Thank you indeed. Is there anything from the Earth Council, any member of the Earth Council present? Okay, thank you very much. It seems that there is nothing from the Earth Council for this week. Thank you very much for all your work. There is a lot of meeting going on in the background between the Earth Council, the Universal Council and the three members of the core teams and the Council's meet on Mondays and Fridays has been agreed between their own management team or the team that they run. It has to be said why we bring this up. In the coming time, the members of the Council, each will have his own operating, um, what we call, offices around the world, in a way of, according to the language you have spoken. The Earth Council members will receive their own operating continental offices, where they can listen and understand, and be supportive of the needs of each continent and the language. The structure is on the move, it will take us a few months to put it in position, and this structure literally takes over the whole running of the operation to see the need of the nations and the need of the languages in different part of the uh, continents as they have responsibility for. Gradually the members of the councils become a full-time job for each member as they wish to be and in that way they promote peace and in a way bring their wishes to be reality in supporting humanity to stay a peaceful race, not only for this planet and beyond. The process of the teaching and education and knowledge is going a step further, and as we see, the knowledge is spreading quite rapidly. One of the achievements which has been reported in the past week through the organizations which operate, and more or less, are in a very advanced stages of this development and science and technology is that we have been informed by those who are in operational system with the Magrav systems or what we call uh, gas plasma units or what they call uh, the another word is for a plasma technology, Keshe Foundation Magrav technology has been chosen that they use the same technology as the Technology Education Foundation and they are developing it as the name of the quantum energy using the gas technology. They have achieved in the past week, reported last Friday, uh, what we call satellite condition flight system. Uh, this is a zero time, zero position. Um, more details of this will be released in the coming time. I have seen people with different aspects of the work with generators and plasma units are breaking through the industry. This is a beautiful news. I congratulate both teams, both groups which are working. It has to be said, we have entered a new era and as we established the Universal Council and the Universal, um, the Earth Council and the One Nation, we start seeing what's coming through. On the other hand, we see our wishes to be peaceful, is taking hold in different directions. As we have seen in the past week, the Chinese leadership and the American leadership have joined in finding a peaceful way into conflicts in Korea. This is a new way, is a new direction. And the beauty of it is, the world leaders have decided to take a peaceful way to find a solution on the war. This is all comes part of the effort that many people have made their wishes to be. This is how powerful it's becoming. In the coming weeks, we'll announce further more developments as we break through in different directions of the technology. It has to be said that the technology for those who understand it at a very advanced level is a major breakthrough. In the recent meetings with officials and scientists, <coughs> we understand a number of scientific groups in the world are working and have understood the process of control through thoughts for a spaceship systems. There are a number of the nations who are and have started this process and they see enlightenment through the knowledge which we disperse. In this path, as now we have seen the major breakthroughs in the space technology which could not even be thought of some two or three months ago, 
we try to teach at that As Hello. Our, Hello. Sorry about this. Can you hear me? Yes, we can now. Yes, we we, we try to you. establish a backup unit when one falls out. We carry with the other one. And the the process is as now we see a massive development in especially very advanced levels of science for scientists who use and are using this technology very rapidly and understood it fully that we need to, in a way, to enlighten them further, that they can understand the process. Recent meeting, as, as what I call, recent as last week, in, in talking with scientists, those who understand the technology, they ask and they say, well, this is the part which is need to be enlarged, this part needs to be explained more, control of the flight system through um, what we call thoughts and emotion and the soul of the man. Because they have reached this point, they need, they see the need for it. As you know, number of nations have achieved uh, different type of developments in the space technology and have started using it in different ways. We see Hello, Mr. Kesh. I think the line has dropped out. I'm sure he'll be back shortly. We have a double system that he's trying to work on to uh, bring the connection through from the mobile situation. Hello, Mr. Kesh, are you there? Uh, apparently still having some connection issues. Just uh, bear with us a, a minute or two here while we reconnect. Hello, Mr. Kesh, are you there yet? Apparently we're still having some connection issues. Please be patient. I'm sure we'll reconnect shortly.
Hello, can you hear me? Hello, Mr. Katz. Yes, I was just yes, going to check in. Yes, yes. okay. Good. So what, we thought, what has been said, we might have some of these difficulties today. We, we try to rectify it in the next couple of weeks as the thing settled down. So what we see, NASA has moved into the plasma technology propulsion for the rocket technology, but in a way, the next step for them is to join the other world leaders who are now broken into plasma technology through MAGRA uh, science and technology. These things, as we see it, will consolidate between a number of nations in the coming months, as with this new technology and what we call zero-time flight plasma system. This enforces the renegotiation for what we call the World Peace and Peace Treaty, as this makes it essential in a way for governments to step down from their present position. Which means, in so many ways, governments have to renegotiate their way for peace. The flight time now comes to very, very, very limited window between what we see now. You can go from, let's say, from Moscow to Washington in less than 10 minutes, 15 minutes. These are what we said when we met with the officials of the American government years ago. When they asked me in the official meeting how you managed to capture this and that, we explained to them in a very simple way that we crossed the nations without having them knowing what we are doing. This is the advancement of technology. Now we see two or three nations have achieved and are on the path to achieve this technology. The true the, with the true essence of what is developed and what is available. Therefore, you will hear our teaching uh, primarily from now on. We'll go into a very advanced stage because we have to teach to support the nations who have reached that point. Many people might sound to you um, slightly too advanced, but this is how your nations have developed. We are responding to the scientific demand because we have opened a channel that many scientific worlds now understand. In the coming time, we'll explain more as we come into arrangement and agreements in so many ways how to disperse this knowledge. But as it has been announced in the past more or six days since last Friday, that what we call um, MAGRAP systems flight through satellite has been achieved, has been done. Now we have to understand this is going to take a rapid steps in being released or used at least by a number of nations for advantage and to their advantage from technology. There is one agreement which we have made with the governments that we give three to six months delay lapse of any joint achievement disclosure, which means from now on, whatever we develop with these nations who we work with, no technology will be released between three to six months. This is the agreement we have. The nations will take a priority time, and then the knowledge with the agreement will be dispersed in a way it will be shared. This has to be this way, as they are investing huge amount of uh, effort into this kind of development. What is important for all of us to understand is that the, the process of change, the process of understanding the change, the process of the work of the plasma through what we call the soul of the man and emotion has become part of the need for the present space technology. Because the present electronic systems cannot handle, as we explained before. One of the reasons for these kind of operation and understanding is that us as totality can follow the procedure. This is one of the most important parts that we can, our scientists can follow the procedure to be able to be successful in launch, in control, and at the same time in reverse operation to return back. It is easy, very easy, with these systems, as we have taught before, to enter a um, departure. The biggest problem is 
returning back? How do we return? How do we access things? How do we manage to be able to produce and be able to submit such a process? It is for all of us to understand this process, important. It is absolutely vital that we understand this process fully. As we all know, production of the materials was easy for us. We achieved it in a very... We achieved it in a very easy way. We achieved it in a drastically easy way. Because many of us, as knowledge seekers, we were not aware that how, uh, as part of us, our knowledge skills, we don't understand how easy this was, and how important this was, that we achieve rapid development. We had to achieve rapid development. Those in the scientific world which work around the Foundation understood and grasped the concept and played the whole structure to achieve what we call lift and motion. But when we want to return back, this is a different ball game. Launch creation of the magnetic gravitational field to create separation we have seen in number of cases was reported people losing balls from their system. But now we have to bring it to understand what it is, how it is, how it has to be treated as one step before actually you take off. Before you become the spaceman, you have to understand, you have to plan your whole system in organization of the space travel. This goes back to the agencies which are advanced and moved into Space travel. In your systems, when you achieved zero gravity in a way of repulsion through the mass, you have calculated a slight, and you have to calculate a slight deviation from a central system mass field gravitational more than a field magnetical. What this means, you have to add to your system, a process of limitation, at least to begin with. You decide, limitation, 100,000, 200,000, 1 million kilometers. Then what do you do? You set your gravitational magnetic field to the calculation of that point in the space from distance of the Earth. Because your MAGRAF system is set at 1 million kilometers gravitational magnetic field calculation, somewhere between 1 million to 1.1 million and 9.9 .9 million kilometers, you will find your satellite positioning. Then you have Hello, Mr. Cash. Oops. No, I'm here, back on the back of system. So what you have to do, you have to reverse gap, gravitational magnetic field plasma to the position where you launched it. Which means you will get your system back within few seconds. Then all you have to adjust your system, that at a given position, let's say at 1 million kilometers, you can achieve a balance, till through your thoughts, you can recall back through the positioning of the entity where you launched the system. This is important for the space scientists who are working on these fields, and to understand the process. Most of the scientists, most of the problem from now on, will be the loss of the launch system. This is the loss of what you call your satellite, your space system, and everything else. So it is important that those who work in this field understand, at least initially to start with, 
the positioning, magnetic gravitational fields, your governments have this data. The data of position of the gravitational magnetic field at certain distances from the Earth is already has been calculated in previous research. You lock your field strength in the balance between gravitational and magnetic field to the central gravitational system of the system to the ground zero base and to the distance point gravitational system. At that point, as you are the controller, as you are the person who have initiated the flight through the operation of the thoughts, you can reverse process from magnetic to gravitational to balance back at the point of departure. The process is through your thoughts. You reverse, you have to train your line of thoughts in what field you have accessed the energy transfer and to what field you withdraw energy transfer in a gravitational magnetic field strength energy, not energy as power you understand. The remote, what we call line of thought control is a major breakthrough for these scientists. A number of Eastern scientists have already been working and understand exactly what I'm explaining. In this process, before your flight, try to understand, to focus on a space-time, a space launch, a space gravitational magnetic field, irrespective of gravitational field of the inertia of the land or the position you work on. What this means? You add into gravitational through the field strength, no, not using gas or any liquid gas. The process is very simple. You have to be able to reverse the line of thoughts in the line of emotion to the line of the transition and transportation and reverse back. This process was understood by Iranian space group who captured the American drone. Now you have understand how advanced the technology already is applicable. Now we understand a number of nations have developed and are developing the next step. We give them full support and the training and the full knowledge of the control of the space. Then with it comes the expansion of the size of the spacecraft. <coughs> The expansion of the size is entirely dependent on the operator. You can expand in two ways. You add a second operator in the same line of thought, which means it can increase the size of the spaceship to double the size. You can add a third or the fourth operator, which means you can expand beyond dimension. This, for those who understand, is by increasing the limitation of the boundary through the operation of the increase of the gravitational magnetic field of the top reactor. The top reactor now dictates the size, where the bottom three star formation hold on to the position of the whole totality that the structure integrity stays intact. What this means, it means a number of rotary reactors on the boundary of the spaceship has to be changed in strength through the line of the thought by the secondary operator reactors. They do not interfere with the central line, but they expand in the matter of the dimension, increasing the height at the same time the fourth and the third operators decide to control the volume of the expansion of the ring. For those scientists who work in this field, now it means coordination and training of the officers who, through the operation of the what we call the soul, have one aim, expansion of the knowledge and a peaceful manner of operation. In a way, we train a number of people who think, live and work under the same ethos. In this way, you can expand and numbers increases. Those of you who work in the space technology at the governmental level, 
understand every 10 meters in expansion in the new structure allows after a certain limit to order of magnitude increase in number of passengers and the payload mass amount by volume to control the system from the internal gravitational field the main operator stays in position they receive the energy they receive the information these kind of operators you have to train that they will never lapse into what we call a state of sleep because they receive the totality of the energy they need through the operation of the system themselves in fact no cellular body cells consumes any energy that they need regeneration that you need to rest because they receive the energy as they consume as the whole operation is running so in the operation of the controllers you develop these people these controllers stay on position more or less all the time because you'll understand in a space there is no 24-hour cycle it's the habit of the man on this planet we don't have a sunday we don't have a saturday we don't go on prayer friday lunchtime to a mosque the total operation stands in a way on a continuous basis when a man accepts or a person accepts or entity accepts to be in charge as a controller is a controller for life this is how it operates unless the handover the third the fourth or as you increase the number of the operators to increase the volume of the spaceship you can increase to multi thousand million people transportation the other system which is important to be understood by those who are not operating on the restriction of limitation of the return of the craft is to convert in a certain point space time from the earth into gravitational magnetic field of the medium of the space which means the physicality becomes irrelevant and the soul of the entity becomes part of the craft in this position the number of passengers transportation is limitless because now the physicality is beyond the condition of the fields of the solar system you have to understand for those who take to this uh, next step now you create a condition of the universal plasma gravitational magnetic field which means does not obey by the rules of the planet earth you create a condition which as a soul strength has the strength of the source of the origin which is earth but in a physical condition dimension has no tangibility in deep space unless the soul decides to manifest itself in that dimension if you go back to some of my teachings in the very past time are always said and i've seen it recently in some of the papers coming up is that one atom of hydrogen can cover the span of a solar system now you understand the meaning of according to number of the souls which the space or the system is said to carry the number of the what you call passengers will dictate the volume and the numbers the more you work on understanding of the system for travel in deep space the more you can decide or the space of the numbers of the souls dictates the number which a system can carry which goes to the satisfaction and happiness of what we call acceptance of all the souls within so one spaceship can carry one soul or as many as one can imagine in a galaxy this is the beauty of non-dimensional physical entity dimension travel into space we enter a new era in totality of the understanding of the space travel which means our physical body beyond the dimension of the space of the earth dictated by the environment of the gravitational magnetic field 
of the universal condition of strength. Which means, we do not need to carry physicality, even though we have the feeling, even though we have the understanding of our presence, till the point of manifestation. Those who choose to carry a physical body during the travel in any dimensions, they find a very slow way to travel, compared to what you can travel beyond the speed of imagination of the man at this moment of time. So, physicality in the space of a craft is the limitation of the speed, as limitation of the numbers you can carry. When you travel through the strength of the soul of the man, through the intention of delivery, there is no speed, because then you decide the speed of travel. Those organizations who have been testing in past few weeks on this manner, understand exactly what I've been teaching in past 10 minutes, and where you've got the stock, and where you have to understand to develop. You need to add a fourth core. It's essential for your connection and your development to go a step further, to add the fourth core into your system. Three core system was good and is good, but when you go into the space dimension, a fourth reactor core has to come into operation. If you want to go beyond the galaxy, beyond galaxy speed of travel, then you have to add a fifth core. But you have to understand what you put in these two cores. Those of you who have managed to achieve three core operation, now you have to develop the fourth core operation. The fourth core operation allows you the dimension of emotion. You have to understand the reason why you are doing this for. <clears throat> In your flight system, if you do not add the fourth core dimension, the emotion, will not be counted for. Then you have to decide what you load in the fourth core. Dimension of the space, of the strength of the reactor, it depends entirely on sincerity of the soul which dictates the fourth core. This is why, if you go back to some of my teachings in the past, I said, we trust to give our souls to a captain, where we know will be correctly, in a way, nurtured and looked after, it and trusted to be given to. The space technology, on the level of the emotion and the soul, is totally different than getting into a craft. In a way, you become as part of it, because the energy you have put into it, the energy of the soul of the man, becomes part of the operation of the balance of the existence of the man in deep space. To those space agencies which have moved into what we call Magra Plasma Technology in space travel, which have been taught by us to them in past month and now they have tested it, our point is one way. Try to get your satellite back. But you should have planned it, as I explained, before you depart. You always have to create a point of reference from the point that you can always manifest yourself and dictate back to the position of the travel. Or dictate the position of the arrival prior to departure. That at that point, you set up a new zero point departure. Those of you who have managed to achieve quantum flight in the past few days, you understand exactly what you have to do to bring the operation of the control under observation. I know you are listening. This is part which you should have decided before departure. Before you tested, we hope you have managed to recapture or reland, but a zero time travel which you achieved is a great achievement. We congratulate you. But you have to understand the next step in the process. As I explained, 
word by word. I know in your team, you do not listen the way the others do. You understand the essence of the teaching. This is a gift to you to go to the next step. I'll teach you publicly that the others understand what you have to do, that they do when they achieve your position. In your process, you should structure, always consider a fifth reactor core. That I will teach you in the future why you need it, because in that fifth reactor core, in a way, allows you back to take the shape of the environment you have that you cannot lose much, but gain position of, in a way, return back to the origin of what you created. It is important that you understand the reversal process through the fifth reactor. The speed positioning of a fifth core, not the fifth reactor, is essentially allows you to dictate the direction of the motion, landing, conversion, creation of understanding of the emotion and repositioning at the point of the space of arrival where you always allow yourself a departure in a rapid way through the operation of the strength of the soul of the what you call your controller in your system in the last week you have two floors in the coming time, I teach you more how to do it. You should have listened in our teaching when we were teaching you or your people who was with us that you misunderstood one step. You should be able to manifest it to be shown. Going back to the normal teaching, for those of you who understand the process of operation of the reactors, it is important from this stage to realize that the control of the speed of gravitational and magnetical conversion of one to another will become the cornerstones of the man's flight in the space of creation of energy of production of material, of reversal of materials, of being able to cover a vast environment through your wish, through the operation of the reactors, which are in so many ways being given and have to be allowed to create transportation in the dimension of the strength of the field. The teaching, as I said, from now on goes to a level that not many people, except the elite in the world of science, will understand and they're operating on. We have to be able to allow them to move faster, that in time they create a much wider, what I call, horizon for the others to understand. The process of the production of the field through non-material condition and dimension becomes the cornerstone of the flight system, of feeding system. What this means in a space, we go back to understanding of the operation of the human body. Where, as we said, human body receives 80% of its energy through the environment and converts it. We know the process because we live through it. In that process, we have to understand the operation and the strength of the fields which we need to create matter state out of the field of the universe in our body, and at the same time, we able to release the energies which in the matter state of our body are not used. In a way, once we learn this process, the what I call systems like bigger intestine, systems like kidneys, are not needed. Our body has been doing this from the time when it became operational on its own system in the womb of the mother. 
but we have never understood. Now it's time to understand the totality of the operation, which means what we say you need, you absorb, it has to become dictated by us and not what the environment provides. Which means if we get to this point, the other 20% of what we eat as food, what we consume as air becomes irrelevant because now we have created, we have understood 80% operation of our own body, which we were not aware of. And it allows us to absorb energy from the environment of the atmosphere of the planet. And if not available to the strength of understanding what we taught much earlier on, going to the more central point of the fields of the plasma of the soul of the man, to reach to beyond solar system, to absorb energies which is needed for our survival from the boundaries of the galaxy. Because the spectrum of the energies we need to live exists in all corners of the universe. This is how we will not eat, we do not need to eat. This is how, if you understood, systems can be developed that by running these systems, we can make man not to feel hungry, but receive all the totality of the energy in need to function as a being in a normal condition on this planet. The new system, as we have discussed with governments, will be released that in the point of disasters, the whole group, the whole area can be fed through the systems for what they need, delivery of the medicine, delivery of the technology of the shelter. Now that we have moved into what we call the advanced stage of the field plasma, these things become much easier to be able to develop, becomes much easier to be able to deliver, and it has made it easy for us to be able to teach the elite scientists of the nations. It's for them to filter the knowledge as they learn within three to six months back into the public domain. You have to extend your knowledge to the point that now with what you have tested with the Magrav systems, with seeing the energy, with feeling the fields of the energy of your system, that now Every man should be able to call upon the strength of the fields which he or she needs to be able to keep the soul at a point of satisfaction. Now you might have understood the clue. The point of satisfaction and the need of the soul of the man becomes the absorber of the energy from the universe for it to feed the physicality of the man. This is one of the ways to survive, one of the ways to be able to absorb. In a way, you make your soul in a way of demand by depletion of giving, that it receives what it needs to be able to nourish the physicality of the man at the point of the inception of the physicality at a point where it needs or wants to manifest itself or receive energy that it can keep itself as a manifestation of God. This is the presence, the physical existence of the man and the point of his observation, which means at any time you exist is the wish of your soul to be visible to the others. So the soul of the man dictates the presence of the existence of the man, the confirmation of the presence at the time and the point and the position. When the soul decides that the, in what we call the manifestation of the physicality in the dimension is not needed, this is what the man calls the death of the body of the man. 
when the soul reaches point of maturity in his presence or by accident reaches a point that he can call back on the energies to separate from the physicality which reaches the point of self-sustaining maturity that's the time when the body becomes separated from the point of his soul then the soul has the freedom to manifest itself in any dimension of the creation across the universe and is not necessarily restricted to the physicality boundary of this planet. To understand this, then you understand no man needs to have worries about the food, sustenance, about the shelter, existence and about energy in a way of transformation or transportation from one to another. It is important for us to understand, then if you understand this, we'll find out, as was said by member of the Universal Council, no one can abuse the other as you can receive what you need the way you need it, that it brings satisfaction to the soul of the man. Extension of the knowledge from now on, to many of you will sound like riddle, but those who are advancing rapidly, understand and understood most of what he said and what they were missing to develop in their technology. In spaceship systems, development of non-tangible space system that they become tangible at the point of manifestation and the desire of the captain or the man who is in charge of will become a very common feature in the operation of the transportation and sheltering and any other things which a man desires. This is the breakthrough and now as we have been asked by the governments, can we go to that next step? The answer is yes. It will be taught very rapidly. And transportation through emotion, the essence of understanding and thoughts, soon becomes, as I said, like a bread and butter on every table. Any questions? Good morning, Mr. Keshe. Good morning, Azharjan. Uh, Mr. Keshe, I don't have a question about traveling, but uh, I missed two workshops. I have a question about soul. Can I ask those questions? Yes. Have you found yours yet? Uh, mine is uh, still there. It hasn't <laughs> gone anywhere. Uh, the question I have, if you remember, uh, you talked about... Uh, when we are born, we decide on everything. Then I was thinking the other day, uh, when we decided, we had the limitation, because our limitation was uh, our parents and our grandparents and all our generation, because I couldn't, we couldn't go beyond uh, what was available. I couldn't become an African woman or an African man, because that wasn't, wasn't my uh, ancestor. Now, accessing our soul, I don't have that limitation. Am I right? Yes. So why is that? Because now you decide the limitation. In a way, as you go into a space, and you manifest yourself according to the time and position and the space you want to manifest yourself, the freedom of the time of the soul will give you the same freedom on this planet. Now you know how to operate. We will see many beautiful people on this planet, because they all want to be beautiful. Beauty contests will have many winners. Okay, so now when we, when we get to the peace, uh, the whole planet becomes peaceful, like we join the universal community. What's going to happen to planet Earth? We're no longer going to be a nursery for humanity? Maybe huh? still a nursery, maybe worse nursery than before. Why? <coughs> Go back to the word of the Creator, I made man that he may bear children, that they may love me. Which means, 
the more we find we can love, the more we want to create that they might love more people to be loved. The problem is not that we will not be many, be, we will, the whole process is a learning process as we grow. That uh, we, first of all, time limitation of 50, 100, 200 years, 300 years for physical living in a dimension of the strength of the soul will become a normal reality. But you have to understand that even 500 or 1000 in space is zero time. It's too short. And also, uh, you know, I was thinking, so our nursery, the planet Earth as a nursery, is going to go from uh, kindergarten nursery to university nursery once we become peaceful and join the universal community. Am I correct? Become more advanced. In so many ways, in so many ways, we, we do buy the time wasting, in a way. We become more advanced because we realize a lot of things which we consider to be essentials, the basics, will not be there. Because we satisfy that already. Okay. And then, um, you know, the, when you talk about emotion, you talk about the emotion of the physicality and emotion of the soul. When I think about the emotion, I, I, I feel uh, I can talk about joy, love, anger, uh, sadness, those are emotions. So how can we differentiate between the emotion of the soul and emotion of the physicality? And then uh, I know many times you talked about filtering and filtering of emotion. I still don't understand this filtering. Can you explain in a way as if I'm five years old so I can understand it? Let me think, when I was five years how I felt the emotion and I tell you, then you understand. You carry the emotion through your soul, because go back to the understanding of the original definition of two plasma. The positioning of the Earth at where it is now, in comparison to the Sun, even the, the ratio is huge difference in mass or field of strength, internal field of strength, has given Earth such a position as where we are now. In this solar system. Now, when you have the emotion of the soul, the strength of the fields of the matter state, gas state of the brain, creates a balanced position like a second star to your emotion in the soul at the same strength, but of the weaker volume. Then, in that point, where the balance becomes and finds position, that, let's say, becomes the strength of joy. With the anger, it's more, let's say, gravitational than magnetical, but the magnetical is the same as the one you had first. So now the position changes, but the feeling stays the same. But in this time, I need more to receive, to be, have the feeling I was showing before. But otherwise, I'm still showing the same strength. So, the position of, let's say, anger in your physicality becomes the smaller of the two systems, plasma, that they need to feed each other. And at that point in your brain, the filter of the fields from the center to there has become the field strength you need, or filtering you need, to gain such emotion at that point in the brain.
this can be explained in a way that, for example, certain field strength in the brain leads to creation of migraine. And if the two in balance cannot find their position, then you'll find every time the same feeling has been created in a given time leads to migraine. So, we understand the same emotional feeling creates all the time the same migraine. Sometimes people say the food is the cause of migraine. But in fact, if you think of it, the field strength which released by the food which you consume, if it's at the strength of depletion of the emotion, then you get a migraine. If you do something which creates this third position, in comparison to the two positions which gives you a normal condition, that it depletes what we call the satellite in the physical part of the body brain of the man, then you get the immigrant too. But for somebody to explain this and for someone to understand, it's a different ball game. They prefer to take tablets, they prefer to do everything else, but they don't want to understand the reason for it. Because once they understand the reason, there will be no migraine. The cause, the creation of migraine, is the man himself who does not understand the position of the strength in sharing the field. Would man have a migraine in space? Most probably yes, if he follows the same structure of comprehension as on this planet. Because the origin of the soul from Earth carries the essence of creation of the amino acid which led to its creation. That's how we know this planet is from Earth. Or this planet and that planet are from the same area or same person. It becomes very easy to read. And Mr. Keshe, also you said uh, about the strength of the soul. Try to understand the strength of your soul. So, how can I, how do I know what is the strength of my soul? At what level it is and how can I understand it? Do I understand it? What are the signs? How can I measure it? By test and trial you will see. Stand in front of the mirror if you understand the process and you can carry it out. You can change the color of your eye by the desire of the beauty of what and how you can inter interact with. I know a number of people who do this. You can change the color of the spot on your skin. Many people don't realize, but they do it. So that's how you measure the strength of your soul? It's a good exercise to start to understand. Okay. <laughs> It's, you got to start somewhere, it's no use me. It's like what I told him past half an hour. It's a riddle to many people. But as more and more people develop the space technology, the way we suggested, the more craft are built, the more tests are done, then they see what the neighbor is doing, and they see, oh, the neighbor has two of them. Or the neighbor has three of them. Then they start understanding. Not many of us need the method of transportation as we choose today. Or even walking. If we could understand, it's the soul of us which can create the positioning. No man will walk from one place to another. Yes, Mr. Keshe, thank you. Actually, I'm trying to see if I can travel with my soul. So that way it's easier for me to go see my parents on Sunday, go to Iran and come back. Oh, why not? 
Yes. If you work, don't work in a physical dimension, initially work on the strength of the emotion, and then see if they felt it. Then you know they can reach them. And then next time you go in a deeper way to strengthen the feeling. And when you speak with them next time, don't mention, have you, did you check that? Did you see that? If they know, you have not achieved anything. You will not achieve it. But if you come to understand through their talk that they had the emotion which you thought of, you tick the box next time, is to move them from there to there. You call your parents, they're in Tehran, says, oh, I wish they were in Esfahan or whatever, in a way that they could take pleasure in what they wanted. And if the soul agrees and the strength is done, when you call them next, they not necessarily gone to Islam, but they have had the satisfaction of what being there. Then you feel it. Then you start building it up. Then you can be anywhere. You don't need to be in Tehran. You can be with them anywhere as your soul's presence gives the pleasure of the physical existence and manifestation. Try to become detached from your physicality then you understand. Not in a way to kill yourself, but in a way to understand that the soul of the man is free, but now we know it's within the space of the brain of the man, please take him home. Leave a line of connection, that's the test. Thank you, Mr. Kess, that was a good tip. I hope so. I hope we can teach more and more people in advanced way of uh, knowledge of the soul. You know, the next time I have a lunch with my parents <laughs> on Sunday, I'll let you know. Yeah, no problem. We'll see you in Tehran with Chili Kebab, no problem. <laughs> Any other question? There's a, a couple of people um, with their hands up as attendees here. Uh, I know. Uh, let me see, we've got Ralph. I know Ralph. We can bring him in. Yes, Hello, Ralph. Good morning, Mr. Cash. Good morning. I uh, sent the um, presentation to Rick. I don't think, it seemed like he didn't get a chance to look at it. No, I did look at it, Ralph. I sent you a reply. We can't use most of it because it's copyrighted material. I sent oh. you a reply and I uh, itemized everything, oh, all the problems oh, and goodness. issues and so on. Yeah, pick up your email. I sent it to the same address. Oh, okay. I guess that was looking, okay. Yeah, there's a lot of issues there. We can't use the pictures. We can't use all the references. We can't use the... Uh, website and so on. So you'll have to change it and put it into your own words or somehow present it okay. in a way or get authorization from the authors and so on. Okay. I thought about that. I was wondering that's one of the questions that I had. Okay, um I have I do have a question though, uh, Mr. Cash. I am not clear about the uh, uh when we use the uh, reactors we have to cause to uh, to create a spaceship. What happens when when it, when is when a spaceship is created or comes into an ex existence? What happens to the uh, the physical parts, like the reactors? For instance, the one the um, let's take the example that's in in Arizona. Um, the you know, if if that comes into existence with, with the platform and everything, and all the reactors around it, yeah, the sixteen reactors and so on, what happens to um, when the spaceship is, is created? What happens to the physical structure, the, the physical reactors? I think. Are you still there, Mr. Cash, or are you uh, having difficulty with the question?
Does anyone know if Mr. Kish is still there? Yes, I'm still here. I'm listening. Oh, okay. Um, maybe you need to clarify more uh, for Mr. Kesh, perhaps. Well, Mr. Kesh, you didn't hear me. I was. Uh, I heard you. Well, try to answer your own question. <laughs> yeah. What was your question? Repeat your question. When we use the uh, reactors to uh, create a spaceship, like, like, for example, the one in Arizona, or the whatever. Um, I was wondering what becomes of the uh, physical reactors themselves. Is is there are they still there, in, uh, or is it because they are the, the spaceship becomes takes on a living form? It becomes is responsive. Uh, it's like a living thing and responds to your emotions and thoughts. Right? I was wondering uh, if they are uh, well. <laughs> I don't. know. Does the uh, the spaceship um, encompass the those parts still? I don't know how to put it. Yeah. Well, perhaps you can clarify again or rephrase the question, and maybe that'll help. Mm, I don't know. If you, as Rick said, rephrase it and try to understand it, in a way we try not to spoon feed, we try to enlighten. Where do you see the problem? It's not. A, it's not a problem. I just. I was just wondering what what becomes of the uh, the reactors. Are they still in the spaceship itself, or they are? They they become. This is a very very good question, but I'll respond to you in a different way. Um, the container core matter state is irrelevant. Is for man to think and to see because there is a core I put in there, the field is going to be in it. If you go back to the full understanding of the teachings, the plasma carries its own strength and its own dimension. Physical matter state cannot contain no plasma. Okay. This is what we what we have said before too that the whole structure of the plasma is only for satisfaction of the man's understanding that he's got something somewhere. The containment of the fields of a plasma is dictated by the environment. That's why even today I said you go to the fourth and the fifth. These plastic or metal cores we put is just what I call a gimmick. Just because man has to have something to confirm he's done something. Okay, I didn't. I didn't remember that um, you you did um, use a kind of an analogy to to um, where you said the, we use uh, the um, a scaffolding, for example, um, to uh, yeah. And so it's a, it's a temporary thing. It's just it's just a temporary thing to create it. The uh, the plasma, the fields, I guess. Yeah, and yes. then that, and then that falls away or whatever. We so got to learn. The more we become wise, the wiser we become in the teaching, especially like today when we thought, you will find out there is no way to contain the ganses or the plasma or the field of the plasma or the field of the ganses by physical matter uh, container of a plastic core or a glass core. The field plasma matter at the matter strength is so low down the strength that the glass cannot contain it. Mm 
so is the level of the brain of the man, when you understand, there is no physical containment, the only thing we think we have the skull, is just because it has to feed the production of the cells, that the filtering as you call it, can be made and maintained, that the emotion can be felt in that point. The reason we have this skull, it's just to see how fast we can produce cells that in that point can create such a filtering field of strength of manifestation. No other reason. That's what I thought. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Now you understand in the teaching they said he goes into um, souls and ethics and the things, now you understand that the soul, the operation of the ethics of the soul, is the cornerstone of this travel in the space. Now those who said, we support him, scientists in NASA, if he doesn't go in theology or in, the, in talking about God, now they understand exactly without it, you cannot go into space because it's your own soul. Is the operation of the control. They can stay in that level, and we see that some scientists are falling far behind in the space race, far behind, beyond the imagination of other nations who are highly involved in the space level as the plasma technology we teach. Because they're still looking for dimension of physicality, so the speed of flight becomes a dream that they never be enlightened. NASA is falling in that trap very rapidly. They paid 10 billion to the Russians to find out how to land on the land and not on the sea. This time they have to give the whole their national asset to be able to understand how to travel without the system of control, the compute. This is how the space gap in the knowledge is building up and we sit with those who have moved into the dimension of our teaching. understand a glass plastic ceramic ball has no match for the strength of the field of the plasma if the plasma of the sun can pass through millions of kilometers and then pass through a dynamic containment field plasma of the earth and it still reaches then we understand how we had to show you the containment of plasma with the plastic. This is the way you could understand. As you said, if you graduate rapidly, now you understand. The field of the plasma in the reactors you create is controlled by the dimension of the strength of the soul of the man and by the fields which you enforce around it. So, there is no need for a core and there is no need for a motor. But, this is the way man is physical, so we teach the language the man understands. But number of scientists in the scientific world have moved to the new dimension and understand. So, we start teaching at that level that they graduate or they reach a further point faster. Now they have they broken into the system. We teach the system. Containment of a plasma is only by another plasma and no others and a condition to the strength in, by the gradients from the point of contact to the further point of the strength of the plasma containment. Otherwise you cannot hold. Brain of the man is made of ganses, and that's the only reason it can hold the field of the plasma to a certain limit, and when that passes that limit, it becomes weaker, and then it becomes controller of more physicality. Look at the structure of the brain of the man. In the center, you have the emotion of the highest order, which man has not even understood the operation of central part of his brain, because have not understood the strength of the plasma. As he loses strength and he goes further out, according to the shape and distance, 
then it becomes partially in motion. And then when it goes really further to the fringes of the brain, which is near the physicality part, then we say this part is connected with the arm, with the leg and the rest, which is a physical strength and mission of the plasma. If you understand this, you tell me, where are the layers, containers for the emotion, for happiness, for sadness, for physical matter? The body embodiment of the fields of the ganses of the brain cell creates that level of filtering of the strength to a lower level that allows to go from higher order emotion to lower order physicality, which is control of arm and the hand and the rest of it. That's why when the strength of the emotion is higher, that it cannot be understood or be accepted by the soul in the release of it, since leads to a stroke and all the physical disabilities. Once man understands this, then man understands any disability can be reversed. Because now you create a field from the outside to the strength of the physicality to be able to change it. That's why our helmets, that's why our processes, especially like we saw with Naomi works. We substitute from outside, which is the less point of resistance to the dimension of the acceptance of the field plasma that allows the physical correction. Now you understand how the technology even works. Maybe for those who are in the world of medicine understand why we put system outside and filter from inside to the liquid and the water. We change the environment of the plasma of the body of the man, not the medicine. Uh, one more thing, Mr. Cash. Yeah. There's a story that I want to share um, that's sort of a, expresses the power of the power of the emotions. I read a story once, which a true story about a man who, um, he uh, was in a, a container, you know, whatever, doing some work, and um, it's a, these, are, these containers have a ref refrigerator unit, they get very cold. It's for, it's for shipping, uh, keeping things cold during shipment. Anyway, uh, he, um, he, he, uh, Accidentally got locked in. He locked himself into the trail, into the container, and uh, they found him dead um, some uh, later, right? Um, and uh, the story is that um, what they found is that he um, he died through a uh, fear of freezing, but the unit was not on. It was never on, but he was he was frozen. And I thought that was an interesting story to show the, uh, how the motion works on, on the human body. I'm trying to find something for you. I don't know where I'll put it. What's to, by coincidence, to explain to you something very interesting. I was on a flight, very recently, and I observed something like a mosquito. I don't know where it is. Where have I put it? Where is my other phone? And when um, the plane took off at a high altitude, then the, 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 this uh, mosquito froze. It was there, stuck to the window, but it's between the layers of it. And then I was too busy to carry on to observe the rest of it. And I was wondering how many times this little animal has been defrosted and frozen and still carried on with his life. I have the picture of it. If I find it, somehow I'll get it for you to see it. It's between the outer layer and the first layer of the window of an aircraft. And um, what you say is that the animal learned and had no fear. He knew he can defrost it and come back. And to yeah. us at this point, uh, it's very abnormal to see such a thing. Let me see if I can find it. Um, yes, I've got it. It's on another the mobile phone. How can I get this out? Let me see how I can get this out to you and then I'll show it to you. It's amazing how this animal, this little fly, converts back his whole life and how it survives in the two layers because the outer side, it goes to minus 50, 60 degrees and it freezes. Oh. And then when it comes back on the earth ground, it starts moving around again. Mm -hmm. 
let me, it's just exactly what you say, he has no fear of life, or death I should say, so he can operate in that level. Um, I have to find somebody who I can transfer this to, that he can transfer it into another part. Just let me see how I can do it, I tell you, give me two seconds. Um, where is it? Three, go back, four, okay. Uh, I have to do it this way. How can I send it? It doesn't allow me send it. Um, how can I send this thing? It allows me try to me. Uh, I can try any time to send it, but I don't yes. see the button. And then I can share send. screen. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in a different system. Okay. Uh, doesn't allow me. Um, if you can talk for a second, you, this is a marvel of creation. When I saw this thing, and I videoed it, um, it's amazing. This I, this little animal has no fear of death. It's the emotion which creates it. I made a video of it. I don't know if you can even hear the video of it. You can it's hear it um, right it's on the on a, on a what do you call on a ten kilometer alt, uh, height uh, flight. Give me a minute. Let me ask somebody who knows if he can do it. Just one second. Carry on speaking for a second, and then you see well, what you said. The body. I, can, uh, I can relay a story about uh, if my mother was okay. alive, she could relay the story about when I was a child and put flies into the uh, freezer part of our refrigerator to conduct experiments as a very young kid um, and to freeze flies to see if they would come to life again after freezing because I noticed there was some flies in the uh, early spring that would s suddenly show up and they were already quite well developed and so on. And I figured they must have survived the, the whole winter and they must have been frozen during that time. And uh, they would thaw themselves out on, you know, in, in the sunshine and uh, come back to life. And sure enough, the, uh, the frozen flies would uh, take them a while to, you know, get their bearings and so on, but they would be able to um, at least walk, if not fly away. But my mother was totally perplexed. She, she opened the freezer one day <laughs> and saw a few flies inside the freezer, and she just could not figure out how these flies got inside the freezer. <laughs> And I had to uh, disclose that uh, experiment at one point. She wasn't all that happy about it, but <laughs> she did understand my my uh, quest for science. Did that fill in enough time, Mr. Kish? <laughs> yes, thank you very much. It's getting sent to me in Zoom. And... Uh, Hopefully, oh, I cannot share it. Just one second. Sorry, I have to reorganize it. One second. All this for a little mosquito. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, Rick. Hello. This is this is Herbert. Can I come in shortly directly from the conference in South Sudan for a greeting? Well, it might be a good time uh, right now, but um, we don't want to Mr. interrupt Kesha. Mr. Kesha's mosquito. Yes, about the mosquito. Yeah, yes, yeah. It's getting, Rick, uh, sorry about that. One second. Rick, Should... it's getting sent to you on Zoom. Oh, okay. Okay. I sent it to somebody and I'm sending it to you. Um, first of all, you, sorry about that. You said you have, you're coming from the conference in South Sudan. Yes, yes, Mr. Kush. 
Greetings. Yes. The greetings. Thank you very much. I've seen the report. It's amazing what you've done. As I said, I didn't know even people in South Sudan know about the Keshe Foundation work. But what I read yeah, from you all... I, I come, it's now yeah, I come from Austria, yeah, from Keshe Foundation Austria, yeah. Yes. I uh, have contact since many years uh, to friends here in uh, South Sudan. And uh, now I came here directly to make a two-day seminar on uh, plasma technology in exchange for peace. And the one professor would like to give a greeting, please. Greetings Great. from South Sudan, uh, and especially from the University of Juba. Uh, we found Kesa Foundation to be very interesting, especially in the area of plasma and the peace technology, which we find it very essential. And the, and the, huh? and the, the university really would like to see that you have Kesa Foundation in the University of Juba, South Sudan to help boost the idea to the community, because education is one of the essential tools for peace building and bringing peace in this country. So we will appreciate if really Kesha Foundation really can establish a center here or and train more students in this area of peace building and development to relieve this country from fighting and all the problems. As a result, we are giving you a special appeal to help the people in <coughs> South Sudan through the University of Juba, send the ideas across the country. Thank you very much. We will respond accordingly from the Keshe Foundation. Um, interesting is that the universities around the world are responding for the scientists to understand about this technology. Um, we'll, we'll consider it, we'll take this back to the foundation and to the councils and we will respond accordingly. I'm sure we respond accordingly very fast to you and to the request of development. The Keshe Foundation worldwide is committing several billion dollars into Africa in the coming time, uh, especially to change the situation as you talk about the South Sudan, the war and everything else. We will come back, we'll teach, we establish factories in Sudan in the coming time and we are very aware of this position. Uh, we work to universities, and we have seen working to universities, scientific organization, is one of the best ways to disperse knowledge. And we will respond to you. Thank you very much for your understanding the technology, and we will respond accordingly. Yes, yeah, thank you very much. We even have uh, representatives from five different ministries here in the conference. I read your, I read the link and I was surprised. I said to Caroline this morning, we have even reached South Sudan. Um, I consider Sudan as one of the major operational organization and I've seen how Sudan, especially Khartoum, has changed through the work of Chinese government. How they invested in stop robbing the nation, they invested in the nation through the work they did, through the oil exports over years. I watched Sudan very closely. I understand the separation of the North and South on the religious ground, and which was a big mistake, but this is the way it was decided by those who planned the future wars. But now that we become one nation, we invest back into South Sudan to bring it back to equal basis. Thank you very much for your work. Hopefully, when you're back home, we meet, and then I'll tell you the guidelines we put on the support of the Sudan. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your So now we continue with our conversation. Thank you, indeed. Thank you. Can you please establish a core team that we can correspond and work with through NGOs and through ministries? and through them will support and we deliver. We have earmarked um, fixed financial support development for each African nation. And as we are carrying on the first one in Ghana, then we'll transfer to the others the same. Thank you very much indeed. Thanks for all your work. Uh, Mr. Kesh, I haven't found any 
thing coming through in the Zoom. Okay, the, they can't get it to me. They just told me that they can't get it through. I have got it. Let me download it, and then I'll see if I can get it to you in a very straightforward way. Um, I'm coming to it, just be careful, just wait for me, I'm forwarding it to you, because I received it back on a different system. Um, let me see if I can do something else with it. I might be able to do something myself. Hello, Mr. Cash. This is Cluster. Yes. Yes, yes. Just give me one second, please. I have to see what I can take out. It's a video. I cannot show a video. This is nice. Okay, if you cannot get it done, we try it um, uh, for next week. Because... Uh, um, I cannot find Rick Cravens. And I cannot share a video. It's a video, you can see it. Just one second, please. If I send it to Stanley, maybe they can do it. The Stan should be able to. Uh, Stanley, has been sent to you. If you're online, can you share a screen and show it? Uh, I will when it comes. It's come through. It looks at through your... Um, Not yet, I don't see it yet. It's on the Ella and Stanley account. Mm. Mr. Cash, isn't that strange that the animals and the insects have better control over the emotions than humans? In a way, yes, I presume, yes, they do. Because uh, emotion, especially in uh, smaller animals, is um, not the way we understand it. But the strength of the soul is um, the, the, what we call the pain, the fear, uh, exists. The, the laughter and that kind of thing does not exist, so it's more concentrated on two or three emotions. Yeah, this man died from fear that he was going to freeze to death, and he, he did. Yes, but you have to understand, go back to the history of uh, um, uh, British Airways, flights from British Airways from India into London Heathrow. <clears throat> it still happens every now and then, not as good, not as frequent as a few years ago. A few mm. years ago, when they used to uh, take off jumbo jets or big airlines from different part of India. The yeah. people used to sell tickets for the space in car in the carriage where the wheel goes up, and they used to get them in there. And every now and then, when the wheel over Heathrow used to open up, a frozen body used to fall out. Wow. And uh, um, this is part of the British uh, uh, aerospace history. You can go and find it yourself. A few years ago, um, a guy traveled and actually landed alive. He wanted to reach England. His only wish, he saw his freedom to get to England. And then the British court had to give him the rights. The judge said, if you went through such a thing to get here, you deserve the right to be here. And he was given a British passport. I think I heard about uh, that. Yeah, it's um, it's very common in the all in the past uh, as more and more people becoming wise to the air transport that um, a lot of things are carried through air transport. A lot of and those who have survived it. Uh, <clears throat> uh, what do you call it? Um, they wish uh, to be or to reach a destination, so the fear 
which is one of the first points of life that we let go, uh, does not, it, it raises the strength to joy. Mm. And the joy has a higher energy circulation in the body, so it feeds more. It's a giver. Fear uh, um, uh, is part of the strength which it takes, but the joy, which is a giver, it gives for itself to the cycle of the human body. So you survive it with the joy. And this is why we survive. Uh, some people survive when convert the fear to joy. And uh, it happens if, you're, if your mission or your destiny or what you want to do in, in emotion is a stronger, then um, your physical condition, you achieve it. You can mm -hmm. do it. Yeah. It's very much I can tell you firsthand because it's not uh, as such as a fear, but as a understanding is that. Um, it happened to me a few years ago, when I fell of course with all the broken bones. To me, I remember I still had to do things, so I just got up the floor and I started walking, because to me, um, the, whole, the falling and broken, out, I couldn't feel any pain. I knew I had to do things, and I was walking on the, on the bush. So fear, when the fear, of, this is the problem when we go to a space. In a space, that's what I said, if you go back a few teachings ago, if man realizes that in space he doesn't need, he stays alive, he won't wear that suit. He won't strap himself to a rope, to a satellite or to a, to a system. The fear of being lost in the space is the cause of the death of the man. But when you settle down and the fear goes, I'm still here, nothing happened, man will so in the space. We don't need the suit. Don't forget, our body is made of guns. And the guns cannot be forced. Mm. We can slow the emotion for it, but body cannot die. So man in a space will never die. It's impossibility to die. Of all this, as you said, the fear. The fear is that we all, we receive so much that we cannot give in a way we become exploded, we become the neutron exploding into electron and the proton. Absorption of the energy from our physical part, what we call fear, is the cause of our demise, not the condition outside. If you've been through the processes of <clears throat> escaping from a country or being under pressure that you had to find a solution to survive, you become stronger because of the energy you absorb. Now you can reflect to come out, and then when it comes, it creates a new aura, a new dimension. That's why we become stronger through the conditions of the life we live. We have a couple of other people waiting to ask questions, if you have a chance, Mr. Kesh. No problems. I'm just managing to send the video to Stanley. A little bit left to load up. Carry on, please. Hi, Mr. Kesh. Can you hear me? Yes. This is um, Miguel before... Moreno for Mexico City. Yes. I want to thank you for your big effort that you are doing for have a peace in the planet uh, and I want to thank you also for all the support that Miss Carolina is giving and uh, I want to share uh, some uh, information Mr. Keshe because I made a magrap uh, 
uh, and the fields that gives the magrab have uh, motion. So I want to show you if you give me a chance to to share. Yes, please. I want to show you first uh, this photograph because I have several kind of magraphs and right here you can see that you have a, a spectrum. We don't see your center. screen yet. We don't see your picture. Yeah. It's not loading up. Uh, we can see it on this end, Mr. Cash. Uh, you can see it? Okay. Maybe just give it a minute. Is it coming through yet? Any luck, Mr. Cash? Maybe, um, I can see it now. It's there. Okay. I can see the picture. Okay. Okay. So right here in this picture, uh, we have a, a spectrum, but we have two fields also, circle, circle fields. And in this case, uh, was no motion, just was static, the, the field. But in another cube that I made, uh, the fields are rotating and uh, let me show you Do you see this field with your eye? No, uh, just with the with the camera. One of the ways to do it is um, more or less be um, if you can create a, a moisture on a glass then you see the shape of the freezing. This is one of the ways we see people are more and more testing the fields, showing the fields. In a way, if you leave a the glass refrigeration type thing that you can create a slow crystals in a space, open a space, then you see the, the field flows. Uh, we see now, I've seen a few very, uh, ingenious way of showing the fields in the environment. 
Yeah. This feels I, we feel it. Uh, there is, um, sorry about that, I can add to, um, Arizona is testing new field detections or fields, uh, what do you call it, they can even feel the emotion or the field of the systems. The space systems are building really there. Uh, okay, uh, I want to show you also that I made a, a, pro a prototype to to have hydrogen with guns uh, and with the tubes, uh, copper nano coated copper uh, tubes. Right here, you can see in the in the center. I have nano coating uh, copper tubes, three different sizes. This is one, this is two, this is three. And outside, I put a paper, alum, aluminum paper, and I add uh, the the liquid that I had for the nano coating. That is uh, the, the the results for mix. Uh, Casting soda and hydroxide uh, of uh, potassium. So I put uh, thirty percent of the of that liquid, the the blue liquid that I have for the nano coating, and I have the seventy percent for the three different guns. And I had the results to to receive a uh, hydrogen without a. Uh, electricity for about three hours let me show you the aspect of the fire that is given and let me show you so right here let me check it out so right there you can see that this uh, that we have the the gases. production of the hydrogen, the gases is correct. But did you see did you see the the color of the fire? Yes, yellow. Yellow, th that that is correct. So I am very sure that it is a um the this combination uh, is giving uh, the energy uh, in a small scale the same that the sun is giving for the color of the of the of the fire so you see uh, I had uh, three hours uh, getting the hydrogen and I uh, um, I am thinking that the um, the color of the flame is is in that in that color because I put a uh, the three Can different you get the gases. Gas tested? Can you get the gas tested? The the hydrogen tested to confirm. Uh, I, I, I don't have I don't have the tester, but I can I can get one uh, no, to confirm. So much tested, yeah, it's no problem. <laughs> there are different ways of producing the guns of the hydrogen. Hydrogen production is very easy, but trying to create the plasma of the hydrogen that you can use it in a space level is is the key now. Yeah, and being able to hold it on. Uh, uh, that you can expand the hydrogen into deuterium and tritium, which becomes the cause of literally dynamic rotation of the gravitational magnetic field of any entity, even the sun. In the okay. sun, we don't have a helium or creation of fusion. The combination of the field plasma in different strength of the hydrogen in respect to tritium, deuterium, and hydrogen, atomic hydrogen, creates that flow, which the highest order becomes gravitational 
in respect to receive to become the highest giver. And then you find a transition into a dynamism of the plasma of the solar system. Okay. So for the last, I want to show you this uh, short video because I made a Tesla coil. And the reason because I am showing you all this stuff is because I think that all this stuff goes together to for the plasma for the plasma technology. Uh, I think that in uh, some point we're gonna mix all these uh, different energies uh, to have a more uh, expansive uh, plasma production. Um, I made uh, this uh, Tesla coil is working with this magrav. But yeah. it, this is the first testing. This is the first testing. Uh, I want to increase. I want to increase the energy, maybe uh, ten times more. But uh, I need a, another bigger place because it's dangerous to have more more energy than this in my home. So I need a bigger place to to have uh, several kilowatts uh, and to see how how if I you, can... If you, let me, let me give you a piece of advice. There are two options to do, even to miniaturize the system. First of all, is non-according transfer of energy that you can go into kilowatts and megawatts. You got to realize that uh, with the um, non-according wires, you deal with a superconductor. So you don't need a bigger structure to be able to handle it. Secondly, you can use, especially if you're using a Tesla system, you can use the plasmatic gravi gravitational field of the Tesla system to increase the power without actually changing anything in your system. If you understood it, you can literally create a power generator 30, 40 kilowatt this way. And you don't need to change yeah. the battery, you can miniaturize because this is a production, you're producing more than you can handle this way. <laughs> yeah, uh, actually, I have uh, all the information to to have uh, several, several more, more energy, but I need a bigger place. So I gonna I gonna ask uh, friends that they have a bigger uh, bigger places to make ta este, some tasting, but for for security I gonna made a Faraday's cage Faraday's cage to concentrate the energy, but I I am thinking Mr. Cage that we can uh, we can uh, mix uh, I I gonna do some different process. I want to mix the Tesla coil uh, information that Tesla gives us, or um, better way uh, than uh, Tesla left. Uh, so if, if uh, I, I, want, I want to mix it with the Magrav system. To many more, people have done this. Many okay. people have done this. And it leads to generation of uh, power. But you have to understand which end of the Tesla system you work, but understand the work of uh, miles too. You'll find out you produce much more energy than you expect. Okay, yes. uh, with the Constantin, a Constantin Mails, right? Yeah, yeah, he's a beautiful scientist because he works on the reverse of it. And as we say, gravitational is much stronger than the magnetical. If you yeah. understand the work of miles and put it in line using the Magrav system and using a Tesla, change the coils of Tesla to a nano-coated materials, yeah, then you will understand the work will become very much nicer. Okay, uh, there are uh, um, they are a Mister in Spain that is uh, that is uh, giving the triple uh, I can remember 
triple triple uh, momentum magnetic or something like that. And this guy uh, uh, give the or gave the the patents of the technology to the governments because he he can he can make uh, with a small production of energy he can make huge any any kind of of uh, of kilowatt voltage with using just a small a small uh, a small amount of energy uh, he he's uh, saying that uh, he uh, he made uh, three three different coils uh, inside of each one and he said that it uh, has a nano 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 coding process also maybe is the same stuff that you are giving to the humanity but the, the, the difference is uh, that this guy is already working with the governments because he uh, he he showed uh, how he can make a very big amount of electricity with the uh, with this stuff but this uh, i am thinking uh, i am very sure on that maybe he he was uh, a student the all the stuff about the the plasma technology also a lot of people are mixing the technologies and seeing huge results. This is how it should be. We support this kind of people. The, the point is, as I said, the knowledge is gift from God. It should not be owned or patented by anyone. But you got to realize, as we always say, is that these people make a breakthrough understanding part of the plasma technology in a very narrow mind energy, narrow field of the technology. If you understand the totality of what we taught, every, everything which touches the life of the man and the universe is in the teaching. Some of us become good in medicine, some of us could become in uh, energy, some in agriculture, some in fishing, some in the space, some in, in uh, decontamination. But if you understand the essence of what we taught over years, this technology touches everything in the in life of the man across the universe or any being. The knowledge dispersed is so comprehensive that it takes thousands of years for man to understand fully, if they ever understand fully the totality of it. So it's nice to see different people come up with different, uh, what you call, um, developments. And it's encouraging to understand people have taken the shackles of limitation of they have to follow one pattern. They're mixing it, they understand the concept from one scientist, one group to another, and they reach huge uh, developments. And this is the beauty of it. When I see people developing this kind of, even for the government, or so they pattern it to get something out of it, it shows the knowledge is well dispersed, the knowledge is well understood. Thank you very much for your effort. It's very nice to see what Okay, is for uh, I, I want to to let you know also, Mr. Cash, that I when I was working with the Magrav and with the Tesla coil, in some places the when I was recording, in some places the no the noise or the sound is uh, entirely gone. Gone. Yes, we yeah. know that. And uh, in other. Uh, and sometimes also the 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 telephones uh, was freezing, so the cons the commands are not responding. Yeah, <clears throat> we're I quite aware of that. That's, this. We've done tests with that for a couple, of three, we, four years uh, ago. I have, I have to tell you this. You brought back some memories. When I was testing in Tehran, in uh, Sharif Tehran University, being independent in one, just a research in a very big building. I had a few times where officials used to knock on the door and say, excuse me, whatever you are doing, we cannot make no landline and no telephone calls. Can you stop the system, please? We want to communicate outside. We are talking a structure 50, 60 meter diameter, maybe bigger. It's a circular building, and um, or we call it a spherical building. And I know it does this, and there is a technology to do it, we use it. And it's the same with uh, when we were in northern Italy. We had a system that when 
um, the guy came and he walked across the garden. He could feel the difference here. There was a noise there. There wasn't a noise. So this is understood. You create a field that is in balance with the field of the noise of the ear of the man. So well, what you can hear, another space becomes balanced so you don't hear anything. It's the same as when we say it comes to a point that you cannot see the object, then it's that the strength of the vision of the man. The object is there, but you can't see it. It's a spectrum that we do not see. Uh, so you can use it. Thank you very much indeed. I see it's very nice. What You're you welcome. Share knowledge with us and we enjoy it and we can learn from each other. Thank you very much for sharing knowledge. I see the picture is on the screen. If you can open it or show it. This is the, yes. the fly, which I was explaining. Uh, Stair, it freezes, and then it defrosts minus 50 degrees. And it's a very tiny thing. The, the cold literally goes through his body in one go. And then when you, you land, it goes somewhere else. It's frozen, totally frozen. And minutes before, it's, it was, it's moving in the windows and the other edge is not inside that it gets heated up. You see his, his legs and his, uh, what I call his aerials. I'm not a very good cameraman, but uh, you see that it's there. There was a link posted by Jay, and I read uh, into it, and it mentions that mosquitoes are one of the types of bugs that can take repeated freezings, apparently, at very much below freezing temperatures. And yes, this is minus 50 degrees, 60 degrees, yeah. Okay, for months thank afterwards. you very much. <laughs> thank you very much. Thanks, Stanley. Um, let me explain something. As we said uh, before, uh, that um, Keshe Foundation is expanding in manufacturing worldwide. We started this cycle about two years ago, and we had to stop now that we are receiving enough um, work that um, allows us to start the manufacturing process. Those of you who have received the email or you will receive an email or check your emails if you applied for becoming a manufacturer, a meeting has been called for 21st of this month, which is next Monday, by Cash Foundation. There's 122 applica 182 applications of manufacturing. Please attend the Zoom, which is organized. We are from 42 different countries. We look uh, in investing our way, we explain in this meeting, if any of you would like to expand or extend into the Manufacturing with Cash Foundation, submit your forms. I don't know if it can be cleared in such a short time, security to be present. But as we said, the plan of the Cash Foundation is one factory per nation, minimum one factory per nation within next 12 to 18 months. In some countries, we'll invest more than one factory. Um, and as our team in the background are working, everything will be prefabricated in one center and it'll be sent in boxes. That when you open it, you are up to standard anywhere in the world that you can go into operation. Hygiene, 
production, um, what they call it, the totality of the whole uh, manufacturing. Uh, please, if you applied for manufacturing, now you go on the umbrella of the cash manufacturing. We have 182 application manufacturing forms for 42 nations. If you want to be a new one or you think you can do it, we'll look at all aspects. Cash Foundation will invest the totality of the finances, which means you become part of what we give a certain, certain amount of shareholding, but we finance heavily. The budget, which is already we decided what we're going to invest in the nation, will become automatically the assets of the Cash Foundation and then spend back in your country or be used to development of the teaching of the foundation work and so society in the nation. Uh, please, if you applied, um, check your emails and be in the meeting of Monday, uh, which is organized by the Cash Foundation. And uh, Ghana is on the first steps. We are doing the trials and development there that we get it everything right. And the process is from now on, as we said months ago, it's a container ship process. I've asked for this meeting because we are ready to go. And that um, everything will be prefabricated. You open a container from the wall to power supply to the gas production system and depends what we agree with you to do in respect to the water or energy or plasma systems or car units, will be in that kit, will be accommodated in the production prior shipping. Um, we use for speeding up cargoes, air cargoes will be used that you don't have to wait months for receipts of it. Once we inform you, is we are in the process of doing, it took us about a couple of months, we'll be in that position that is prefabricated factories, especially uh, then we, the certification we're receiving from mm, international organization will be transferred to that nation, which means you don't need to spend time to certify, which this is, a, as we are the major shareholder, we can transfer our certification across the world, members of the management of the FTA and the standard boards around the world have agreed this is the fastest way we're going to go. We've spoken with a um, couple of them and we'll process this way. So our production uh, 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 is going in a way we we are planning and cash foundation worldwide to increase the factory production to some six hundred units in the next two, two years. This is all done prefabricated. So even if you have a um, shed which can accommodate the system, once the system arrives. Is a fully pre-packed system. All you need to do to put the raw material into it and to stop producing, you become part of the Cash Foundation organization worldwide. And from beginning to the end, will be monitored by the foundation, work by the foundation, and increase the number of employment in the country. The only thing is, the companies has to be ready that we can come in to take shareholders' um, part to finance at the same time and the training and everything else which goes with it. At the beginning will be a bit slow, but um, after two or three months, hopefully we can smooth it up that we can open at least one to two factories a week around the world in a very rapid way. Shall we call it a day? We've been going for some time. Yes, close to three hours already, Mr. Kesh. Uh, Thank you very much for all the Kesh Foundation supporters worldwide. I think many of you will be pleasantly surprised with what is coming and what, how the work of the Kesh Foundation with governments are bearing fruit. Your wishes of peace is bearing fruit. When I saw the message, uh, even Rick sent me a message this morning that the uh, would you like to say what it was regarding the American military forces? Um, yes, there's a, a news item that's come out uh, in the major news, um, CNN news, about the uh, top military leaders of the U.S. Or they, five of them, of the U.S. Joint Chiefs, are issuing a public condem condemnations of the white supremacist groups in the wake of the weekend's racial unrest. 
So the, the the headlines were U.S. military leaders condemn racism after the Charlottesville violence. So there's been this racial violence in the U.S. and uh, the uh, President Trump didn't speak out fast enough to condemn the white supremacist groups and so on that are behind some of the, the violent uh, parts. And... Uh, and so the U.S. military leaders had to come out and actually condemn the racism to be sure that they, you know, squelched it before it got out of hand because they don't want that within their own ranks and they don't want the uh, the racism. It splits them up too much and, you know, they, they're basically into peace the way Mr. Kesh was talking about in the last workshop. These uh, military leaders, they, you know, they realize what it's like to have to live in a, in a violent situation. They don't necessarily want that for themselves and their and their uh, the people that are under them. So it's an the interesting twist, men, I thought. Yeah. The military men are there to support peace. They are not there to create war. It's the politicians which create war. And as I said in the meetings of recent past, once you send all these letters to the ambassadors to sign a World Peace Treaty, we asked you to send a letter, now it's one nation, you can join. But send the peace treaty to the head of armies, chief of staff, chief of military forces, joint command forces, and introduce them to world peace. The armies will grab it with the heart, because this is what they are there, to keep the nations and neighbors in peace. Now the next step for us is to reach the military, men of military, heads of military nations, in offering them the same contract, peace for exchange, for comfort for your soldiers, for your nation. Don't forget, many military, heads of militaries do coup d'etat, and they become the head of the nation. Maybe in a coming time, the militaries will force this, this agenda of peace through technology. And as we have spoken with a few of them, it's amazing how they are in favor of this technology. To understand it, because they say, this brings peace in my nation, and that's what I'm here for. I'm not here to go to war, it's the politicians who ask me to go. And I don't want, if I make a peaceful nation, nobody wants to go to war. So, Please write, send the peace message, the peace agreement, knowledge in exchange for peace, World Peace Treaty, to the heads of armies, to the highest ranking officers and to the officers. They'll greet it with arm, as I explained in the meetings very recently. With open arm, they greet it, because they can see it, but we have to be able to show it. This has been my job for the past few weeks. I engage totally and directly with military with the heads of uh, military in different countries, that we show the advantages of the technology. And it it's, it's works very nicely, because they see it, it brings prosperity to a nation, they don't need to carry arms. It says, I received a message, it says, by Reuters 7.8 China, Chinese, Sichuan, 6.7 remote part of China, far northwest region of Xinjiang, that, that happened on the 9th of August 2017. Um, some people have died, some 270, 80 people have been injured. We were aware of this, we, we were fully aware of the day it happened. Mm, the pattern of the earthquake, these things are normality, as we said, and we still carry on saying this. The most of the earthquakes we see on the world are more of violence because of the of the continent of South America. This will carry on. And the process of the movement of the dynamic crust of the Earth, which is solid part, will continuously create these kind of movement. There is no way anybody can stop. You got to realize the Panja or the islands or what we call the continents are a floating ship on a ocean of magma. Underneath, it's not connected to anything. And as you understand, if you've been on a boat and you sat on the water, if you're not rowing, you have no control where it goes. And sometimes you bump into the boat next door and you bump to the harbor on the other side. 
And this is exactly what we are. We have to understand the totality of the facts about what we call this planet Earth and what we call the continents, what we call the mass land. These are floating boats on the magma of the planet. And the magma itself is on the float on the plasma of the planet. This is the beauty of it. Nothing is fixed and attached. So earthquakes and all sorts of climate changes is part of the process of this dynamic system. But the separation of the, what we call uh, the American continent, Southern American continent is in the full so it, It's been for millions of years. It's the first time we explained what it is and how it happens. We expected some big movement because there was a cross movement and we saw it. We have passed it, but did not reach the sizes which we expecting for whatever reasons we explained. But the separation of the continent is not even it's already taken place. In, in the coming time, we'll be floating on this one. Thank you very much for today, and we'll meet next week. We should have very much um, huge um, advantage in scientific development. You will realize Keshe Foundation has separated its own private section to do with what we call my personal situations and different things, because now we have taken a totally different position through legal advice we have received. The people who, as you know, with the court case, it still goes through, we are putting our appeal through on both cases to do with one euro and others, but it will never be spoken. The only thing we speak during the teachings is the science and what we achieve and how we develop. We have opened other channels that the Cash Foundation and its work will be protected through legal system. We brought in legal authorities to protect us against our appeal and everything else. We never discuss these things in our teachings anymore because these are the matters which will be decided in a very different way. The reason for it was very simple, um, that uh, we got what we wanted. From now on, we do not disclose uh, what we're going to do till we achieve what we have and we put those people who are uh, responsible for misconduct into prison. We wanted it suspended, we received it, and now we have been given a green light to proceed with all the appeals and so consequently in next years, two years, three years, six months, you hear one by one as we proceed to put one by one of them in prison. Being from the king to the man who were born in one year. Thank you very much indeed. Mr. Cash, this is Klaus from Austria. It's too late yes. to present this can today or will be better next week. We'll do it next week. Please come in early next week. I would like you to see because we need your knowledge. Okay, thank you. Thank have you very much indeed. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thanks, Rick. Thank you for today. And thanks everybody else for everything which you have done and you do. Thank you. Would you like to take us out with the music? Has this become fashionable in the Universal Councils? That would be a good idea. I'll Thank just you. make the announcement now that this brings to the end the 185th Knowledge Seekers Workshop for Thursday, August 17th, 2017. And as always, thank you everybody <clears throat> for attending, and especially, of course, Mr. Cash for being there once again. Okay, we'll have uh, uh, Flint play some of the, uh, the fade out music here, I guess. Yes, I'm ready. Great, go ahead, Tony.